In this tutorial we're going to look at detailed DLM analysis. So in the previous step we had created our general linear model and we're looking to overlay the GLM contrasts. So if we put a cross in the first two boxes and click OK, we can close the voxel beta plot. We have our GLM contrast overlaid on our slices. Overall it's looking a bit messy so we want to change the threshold like we did in the previous step by going into analysis and overlay volume maps and changing the cluster threshold to 6. So this has tidied up our data a little bit. We want to focus on slices 6 and 7 and we want to define a region of interest. So if we select the area that looks like a yellow square on slice 6 in the right hemisphere, it may take you a few tries to get this properly. But once you have it, you should have your average time course for all the voxels and your region of interest displayed in the signal time course. If you click anywhere in the signal time course window, you will get some expanded options. If you now click on the region of interest GLM button, we want to browse to the design matrix file that we created in a previous step. Once we've selected this file, we want to define a contrast. So if we put a cross in the first predictor and a minus sign in the second predictor, we can then fit the GLM. This then provides us with some tables and graphs. So if we look at the tables first, in the first table we have our ANOVA with our degrees of freedom and our F statistic. And at the bottom we have our correlation R coefficient which shows us how well our model fits the data. In the second table we have our beta values for our predictors. And in the third table we have a p-value relating to our contrast. These tables are repeated below for correction of serial correlations. We also have two plots. The first one is without corrections and the second one is with corrections. The blue line represents our data plot. The green line represents the fit of our model based on the beta weights of our predictors. And you can see that it follows our data plot quite nicely but it's not quite perfect. The red plot represents the residuals. This is just subtracting our fitted model from our data. If you want to save any of these plots you can right click on the plot and in the show options dialog window you can change which curves are plotted on the graphs. So this ends the tutorial on GLM analysis and the next tutorial will look at event related averaging.